Another week in the Hero Indian Super League's Season 7 brings us to the GMC Stadium in Bambulim for table toppers Mumbai City against FC Goa. It's first against fifth. Can Goa halt Mumbai City? And the chasing pack will be watching as eagerly as the rest of us. Probably good enough because that is what Fernando will think. Goa come into this having drawn four games in a row. They have to make up that gap for lost points tonight of lost opportunities and lost chances. Ortiz will be counting those two in his mind. His five goals could easily have been 10, just like Goa's 22 points could have been 30, and just like being fifth could have been as good as being third. Look, this Mumbai team lost that game, started the season with zero points from the two games. They would have been under a lot of different pressure, but picking up that gave them momentum, and ever since then, they went on that massive unbeaten run. Well, the last time Mumbai City met FC Goa, the Gores reduced to 10 men, fought valiantly, but Mumbai City broke their resolve with a stoppage time penalty. It was almost as if that strike propelled them to properly cement their place on top of the Hero ISL table. So here we are once again, familiar foes and acquaintances in familiar settings and situations. Mutada Fall against Igor Angulo and Bumu against Bedia and Lefondre against Adil and the two Goan boys, Rowlin against Glan Martin. Maybe a corner. Am I over the, the top for Bumu into the channel? He's beaten Adil for pace. Bumu keeps going. Bumu can cut it back and a fine hand stretched out by Dheeraj. Fine and strong as well. And just sold himself here, trying to nick a ball in an area where he shouldn't have. He could have just stood him up. And once he's gone in there, the fact that no one could make a challenge. Seriton skips past one challenge and Rowlands at that. Edu Bedia uh, thought for one second too many for that. And now Bumu is off. It's going to be a goal, yeah. Bumu keeps going. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Bumu past Dheeraj. You go, Bumu. Mumbai City's Bruce Almighty. Passes it into the back of the goal. The easiest goal that Hugo Bumu is going to score this season. Goal number 18 in the Hero ISL for Hugo Bumu, the elite of the elite attacking midfielders of the Hero ISL. 41 goal contributions now. So it's very difficult for defenders to adjust when each goalkeeper might have a certain trait. Oh, header comes in, Dheeraj beats it away, and then once again, it's gone in. This is the Mumbai City fast local, and it is heading clear. Heading clear to the top of the table, and how 2-0 within 25 minutes. This is exactly what I was alluding to. You talk about how your goalkeepers respond. Some goalkeepers come out for crosses, some deal with things differently. And you look at this young goalkeeper's come in, he's you know he's made a fantastic reflex save to keep the initial header out, but it's a free header from Hernan Santana. Said it in. They're looking for Angulo! Amrinder pulls off a save, and then Hernan. Now we talked about this man's ability, Igor Angulo, that's a brilliant header. Headed it back in the direction it's come from, headed it down to make it very difficult for the goalkeeper. It's bounced in front of the goalkeeper, but Amrinder, we talked about why he's the best goalkeeper in the league, and that is why. He made nine crucial saves. Ortiz looking to pry them open. Clan Martin from Jason. What a shot that is! What a shot from Glenn Martins! He was born 20 kilometers from here, comes to the Bambulim and sets it on fire for goal number 200 of the Hero ISL. Picture perfect! What a story! Such precision, top corner, arcing away from the goalkeeper, in off the crossbar, and these guys will be absolutely delighted. You couldn't score that at a better time for Juan Ferrando's FC Goa. We talk about it being the 200th goal, that is probably the best goal out of all 200 as well. Well, you talk about giving a lifeline for your team, and I think that's exactly what Glenn Martins has done. He's given a lifeline for FC Goa, where that completely changes the complexion at halftime. You go in there thinking, come on, next 15 minutes, if we can get one back, they'll be the team on the back foot, they'll be nervous, but they've got to get, that, get past that man, Amrinda, and it took a wonder strike to get past him. You don't see too many of those in a game, in a season, let alone twice in the same game. So they'll have to have a little bit more about themselves in terms of how they're going to look to attack 
because they need to get in uh, the likes of Nabera, Igor Ongul and Ortiz a lot more involved and more combination between the three of them. Adil Khan goes in a tackle in the attacking half for good measure. Noguera. In comes the cross and Angulo! It's an equaliser! As you go, I have shot right back in it. What did we say? This game never disappoints. The flag has stayed down, the hands have gone up. It won't matter. It's 2-2. Well, we said uh, Igor Angulo is going to be the man. He'll have to come to the party to pull them back. And he's clearly not offside. We spoke about it. The first time he said he's going to be offside a couple of times, but on that one occasion when he isn't, and you think that he is, he's going to punish you. And Amrinda made a great save early on, but there's absolutely nothing he could do about this. It's too close, no time to react. And Angulo doesn't miss from there. Here come Goa. Ortiz. Onto his right side, Ortiz! Something's been said at halftime, they've come out with a bit more, not just better intent, but a better tactical display of how they can cause problems. And I think Mumbai now have to get back to their normal game. If they're going to sit back, as I said, it does not suit this team. They cannot sit back. Oh, great ball. A great ball swept wide towards Rainier. Those Chahu's eyes are always lighting up with possibilities. And talking about possibilities, Raul and Borges was steaming in. Steals in on the edge of the box. And this time blazes it over. Oh, this would have capped off a brilliant, brilliant move. It's two on two. Unless Sheraton can make it back. Bubu onto the right, then to his left. Still Bubu. In it goes. And now oh, he's missed it, Raul and Borges. Actually, we had Donaghy go up on a marauding run forward, and that's why the space at the back. Boom was beating everyone. The keeper's palmed it into a place he shouldn't. But Roland Borges talked about how well he times his run into the box. He got in on one occasion early and skied it with his right foot. On this occasion, that wrist from Guru. Oh, he's just taken his eyes completely off of the ball, missed the ball, and any kind of contact, and I think that's going to be a goal. Will Mumbai City, who were in the lead and then back, back, and they go up again! And that, for me, this is why Roland Borges, he's in there for his defensive ability primarily, but he can also pop up with vital, vital goals. And he missed a sitter, he wasn't going to miss from this close. He's almost inside the goal when he's tapped that in. So he begs the question, what is the goalkeeper doing there? I mean, that ball's bounced virtually on the goal line and he hasn't come and attacked it. But he won't be complaining. One last throw of the dice. Erubadia's teasing delivery! What an ending! And it is Ishan Pandita! All the way back from Spain! Back home! Back among the goals! And go up back in this match! It's 3-3! Three, three. This is ridiculous football from both teams! Drop this on a dime! And all Ishan Pandita had to do was get his head on the end of that! And he's done that brilliantly. How has he done that time and time again this season? He's come on as a late, late sub. And I think he's probably only had about six or seven touches in the Hero ISL this season, but he's already got three goals. That is probably going to be one of the most important goals that he's ever going to score for his club this season. And those seconds that ebbed away as FC Goa attack must have felt like a watch ticking through a sleepless night. And fall and company and Glenn Martin's up for different reasons and different expressions. Probably thought he had done enough to get all three points tonight, but there was late, late drama, as we always keep saying, in the Hero Indian Super League, as it ends 3-3, but the most importantly for Mumbai City FC, they have now qualified for the playoffs.